Hey, this is Supreet, and today we're gonna look at Secret Manager, AWS Secret Manager service. Now, why do we need this? So basically, um, people have um, a habit of keeping all their secrets, all their uh, API keys, uh, secret values. Um, maybe it's a password, maybe it's a API key, maybe it's a connection string. So those uh, storing it uh, at your application level uh, or in configuration file may cause vulnerability or security issues. So it's better you keep it in a vault or in a place where it is much more safer. And one such option is AWS Secret Manager. So if you have access to AWS console, then all you need to do is uh, select the service, Secret Manager service. And you will have to um, create a new secret over here or store a new secret over here. Now, uh, for the interest of time, I have created a new secret. Now, if you see here, uh, this is the secret name. Now, when I click on this, you will get all uh, the information about this secret. Now, <clears throat> what I have stored in the secret, um, just have to go to retrieve secret value. And you will see I have stored some API key. Um, so this is not a real time API key. Uh, it's just a dummy value, right? So now, <clears throat> once I've stored this, uh, you can continue with all other uh, information. Uh, here they have um, some snippets around how to use this uh, secret manager or integrate your secret manager in Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, and other languages um, we may use it uh, but yeah i mean if you are going to use it in java or integrate in java you can go ahead and install aws sdk for java or if you are using it in dotnet like me all you need to do is create a uh, web project um, in your visual studio solution now you will have to install SDKs from your Nougat package, which is AWS SDK Secret Manager, right? So this is the um, SDK or Nougat package that you have to install. Now, uh, coming to the business logic. Now, uh, for the interest of time, I haven't uh, you know, created separate service for it. All that I've done is created this logic in the controller itself. Now, what have I done in this controller? So basically, uh, all we need is secret name. Um, if you go to this, uh, this is my secret name. And the region, uh, this is my region. And uh, secret key and password. Um, so this, you will have to generate it when you have IAM uh, role assigned to it. Right? So now, uh, you will have to create a secret manager client. So this is uh, the way you can create secret manager client. You will have to use IAM as on secret manager. Uh, and in the secret manager client class, you will have to pass a few parameters as a part of constructor parameters. So you'll have to pass secret key, uh, then the password, then the region. Now you will have to um, get the secret key value. Um, so you will have to create a request object. So this is the request object, get secret value request. Now you will have to uh, pass some values as a part of property value for this object. So one important uh, property value is secret name. So which you have created. Okay. Now, uh, this also uses version stage. Uh, all that it does is if you have multiple secret created, so it will always take the updated version. Uh, having said that, you can also take the values from the previous version as well. What you need to do is you have to change current to previous. Okay. Um, now, uh, you will have to create a response object and uh, this is the method client dot secret value async. Um, so what it does is it retrieves the content of encrypted fields uh, as a secret string. Now, 
um, you will have to pass in the request object from here and the request object which takes the secret name as a property parameter value. Now, <clears throat> now you will have to uh, pass a uh, request object and get the response. Now, after this, um, it's up to you how you're going to use this secret value in your application. Um, and besides this, um, since I have used it um, or created it as a key value pair, um, now I have like the secret key and secret value. So what I've done is <clears throat> if I have multiple secrets uh, and if I want to select or retrieve a specific secret key, so I have written a couple of lines of code over here wherein I am uh, explicitly retrieving the value of the key API key, right? So you are using J object and uh, parsing it. Uh, and then, you know, uh, from the J object, uh, you are retrieving the value of a specific key called API key, right? That is it. Um, so let's see how does it work. I have run this solution and here is your swagger ui now let's execute step by step let's say execute we'll come across a breakpoint and then you have initialized all these values now you have set up a client now a uh, client has all these details um and then you are mentioning secret name is my key um version stage as current and then this is the main area or the main method which re, uh, gives you the api key value okay we got the response let's see what's in the response we have arn we have content length then we have status code as okay which you can use it to validate then you have a uh, secret name some metadata which you want to use uh, which has request id um, and then secret string so this is where it gets interesting so uh, you can see this value api key and the value of that which we have stored this comes up as a string value um, so you can use it the way you want yeah and the version id this is the version id stage one this is um current version okay uh so this is the response that we get and moving ahead if response is not null we are going to um you know, create a j object of it and retrieve specific string value which is your api key uh, value all right, so that is it. You execute it and you get the response. Now, um, one more important thing what we need to ensure is the policy attached to your IAM role. So having said that, um, go to IAM. And then select the user this is the user you have policies permission policies ensure you have this policy secret manager read write policy okay so um all right so you want to add a specific policy manually you can copy this and then you can add it manually whatever is applicable whatever you want to allow or disallow all right so uh, having said that um, so this is how you can uh, retrieve the values